Guys, can you guys hear me? Hi Sharice, can you my hear? I don't know what we're going to do with the sound. I see people say that I can't hear you if the sound is loud. Can you hear me? Alright, so okay, so we're back on. Okay, great. Sorry guys, I don't know what happened. Thank you Janine, thank you Jenny. Thanks you, I don't know what happened. Technology, hi. Sorry guys, I'm just waiting for Neil to join. Like I said, I don't want to start this discussion without him because I want to I want him to answer me specifically on what I have to say. So yeah, just be a little bit a little bit patient with with me if you guys don't mind. Yeah, Sharis, I weet niet. I could probeer om iemand te laat join, maar ik ja, ik heb twee mensen probeer. In sign maar dit het nou nie gewerk nie, so ek weet nie wat gaan aan nie. I'm going to attempt it again, I see there's a, I've got a request here from somebody that wants to join the discussion. So let's see if that works. Can you guys still hear me? Good evening, Steve. My brother from my mother and other. <laughs> can you at least make it see your forehead, Steve? Say again? I can only see your forehead and your glasses. Just lower your camera a bit. There we go. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Cool, I'm man. fine, thanks. Now, for some other reason, I can't uh, sign other people in, but yeah. You don't seem to have. Yeah, I, was, I actually wanted to come in just so I could tell you there was a sound problem because everyone was complaining oh. and you didn't see it. But uh, I'm looking forward to Neil's live tonight, and uh, I think Julius Malema must be taken to task properly. Uh, yeah. What he is doing is unconstitutional, and it's not right that our country allows him to do this hate speech and stuff like that. And uh, if you're not Julius Malema, you will be in big trouble if you had to do something like that. So, yeah. uh, you know, like kill the boot, kill the farmer. It doesn't matter whether it's a song, it's a pathetic song. Because if I have to start singing kill the blacks, kill the this, then I'll be in jail tomorrow morning. Okay? So, yeah. we don't do that. We are not racist. We try and uh, uh, be with everybody and join people together. Because that is what the UIM stands for. We want the people to be together. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. There's a couple of interesting things that I'm going to mention tonight because I, I, you know, this whole week I read up on that case and the ruling, and uh, I listened to some legal experts as well and some senior advocates. I listened to what they had to say about this whole court case and what happened, and you know, the ruling that took place. And um, yeah, it's. Uh, I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to jump the gun because I want Niels to specifically comment on what I have to say. But um, I mean, we all know that song is hate, qualifies as hate speech. I mean, if you just go and look at the definition of hate speech, I mean, that uh, song ticks all the boxes, all the wrong boxes. So we know it's hate speech. It's the other thing to prove it in court, though, because you must remember when you are in court, uh, in this case, it was obviously a, a, a civil matter. There's a, obviously an applicant and a respondent, and both of them, both of those parties, if I can put it that way, have to present their cases to the to the judge or to the court, and that judge needs to make a ruling there based on the evidence that he's been presented with. So a judge, and as I gather from what I've heard, 
the judge in this court case is a judge that's quite well known. He's, he's known to be a judge that, that doesn't allow politics to influence him. And uh, you must remember when you are in, in especially with, with regards to the law and court cases, you know, a judge can only try a case as it's being presented to him and with all the evidence that's been presented and he has to act within the boundaries of the law and he has to apply the law. Doesn't matter what the judge's personal feeling is about the, the matter or the subject or whether or not the judge believe it, believes it's hate speech. There's certain legal pr principles that he needs to stick to. He needs to obviously consult sources of law when he makes his ruling. Those sources of law are legislation, um, common law, um, case law. So in terms, of, in terms of that, the general consensus out there from all the legal experts that I have listened to, and believe me, every single legal expert that I listened to this week says that it is their expert opinion or their personal opinion that that song is 100% qualifies as hate speech. It's a different matter though, what happened in court. And like I said, the general consensus out there is that the, the Afri Forum didn't present a strong enough case. And um, 100%. So they basically, they, what's being said is, is that they stopped the case up. And that's very unfortunate for us because that ruling stands now. And future court cases that deals with similar matters are, are always going to refer back to this ruling. And somebody the said thing is, a very interesting yeah. thing. The thing is, Jacques, sorry, man. The thing is as well, yeah. we need to understand, or they need to help us to understand what freedom of speech actually is. Because if you have that freedom of speech, is it only for certain people or is it for other people? I see a lot of stuff on Facebook at the yeah. moment, especially on social media, with people wanting to fly the old South African flag. Because they were born under that flag and that is their flag. And I don't see it as... I think uh, the song is worse than the flag. I know what the flag stood for, yeah. but the song is, is causing people... Where the song comes from, farmers are being murdered. It's as simple as that. This is what is happening. Because people take this to heart. Because people are angry. You see, the problem is this, this court case had very little to do with freedom of speech. Because freedom of speech is a right in South Africa. It's a constitutional right, but it's not an absolute right. So there are limitations. There are limitations to it. And um, one of the limitations is hate speech, obviously. You, you can't go and sing these songs and then rely on a defense of it's your right to freedom of speech because that's not an absolute right. So what they tried to prove in this court case is they needed to, they needed, they tried to prove that this song constitutes hate speech. And unfortunately, the evidence that was presented was weak according to what I'm hearing. Um, the experts that were presented as well to speak on behalf of both parties from Afri Forum side, they didn't present experts to debate this. I mean, the guy that did most of the talking apparently was Aaron Stroots, and, he, and he's no legal expert on this matter or this subject. And look, this is, look, I'm just repeating what I heard this week and what some of the, the senior advocates said and all the legal experts said. So, this is just a court case that was lost. It's not, it's not that the EFF won the case, Afri Forum lost it. And they lost it because they presented a weak case. And unfortunately, a judge has to, like I said, when he judges a, a, a case or when he, when he makes his ruling or when he hears a case that's be put before him, he can only act on the evidence that is presented to him. That's it. That's it. And unfortunately, like everybody is saying, is Afri Forum didn't present a strong enough case. So we lost the Afri Forum lost the case. I'm saying we because this is a this is a blow for everybody in South Africa because, like I said, future court cases, if something like this happens again, they're always going to refer back to this ruling and say, but you know what? In in that specific case, the ruling was that it doesn't constitute hate speech. But now you must also remember what's good for the goose is good for the gander. So I would like to see what happens if anybody but Julius Malema or the EFF, you know, makes a similar mistake or does a similar thing, whether or not that court ruling will apply in, 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 that, in, in such a case as well.
So that's that's the that's the that's the question. Yeah, it's very sad, man. I mean, you know, to me, Julius Malema. I mean, I don't know the man, but yeah. he, 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 it's, it's 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 like he doesn't want peace in this land. Yeah. And I mean, he, he, he just, he, he wants to irritate everybody, but he's never, when he irritates people, he's never there in the no. front line to back it up or anything. But he, 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 he gets the people motivated and get them upset that they, they get so angry that they go and do stupid things and they hurt people. And it's, it's not just wrong, man. Steve, sorry to interrupt. Neil has just sent me a request. Okay. So I'm going to Pull try and I'm going. Him. Well, but thanks for your comments. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks, buddy. Hi, Neil. I see that you sent me a request. Uh, I don't know what happened. Your request has, has disappeared. Can you just send me send me that request again so that I can add you, please? Let's see. Sorry, Neil, just send it again. I think I accidentally pressed the wrong button here and cancelled your request. So just send it again. Sorry, guys. I'm just waiting for Neil to send me another request. Hi, Neil. Good evening. Goedenavond, Sambunani. Shalom, Shabbat. Mulweni, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. I'm fine, thanks. It's nice to see you. You're looking good. Yeah, another long day in council. Uh, you know, being a member of local government, it's not, uh, you know, it's not a walk in the park. Yeah. Uh, but good evening to everybody. It's good to see you. It's my second week formally back into the seat. And... Uh, what the two weeks it's been with so many subjects and so many things to speak about. And I think tonight we need to address uh, maybe three concerns, Jock, where I, I will partake in. One is this ludicrous, ridiculous court hearing, so-called court hearing from Afri Forum and Friki Malema and his uh, jelly tot cohorts. Uh, secondly, without a doubt, my great friend, uh, Becky Taylor, the idiot, IQ minus nil, uh, that I'd like to mention, and his boss, which if they put their IQs together, it would seem to be two, uh, Mr. Rama, Ramasuki Poza. And then thirdly, I'd like to address this new thing that's now erupted. And thank God almighty, I am not part of that circle and the UIM not, but this vicious fight and this vicious debate about the Afrikaner and Afrikaner leaderships and new leaders and manna and groen and geel and brain pakke, safari pakke and, uh, that has been happening, which has been, in my opinion, very disruptive. But more than that, Jacques, very hard so to mm. see uh, people that are not even in government. You know, people that have not even partaken in elections and had success that are now taking leadership in this country of the folk. Now, uh, we don't do that because we don't just represent one group. We, we represent every multinational. But it is, it is a fact that ek is deel van die folk. Ek is nie a leier van die folk nie. Maar ek is deel van die folk en ek wil geluid word en hierdie mense wat ek deesda sien. 
is een absolute verschrikking voor die toekomst van die lot van die Afrikaner. So daar is die drie goed, misschien wat ons oor kan praat, uh, so mondvol, but I think, I think that's what the people want to hear. They want to hear what is the UIM stance on all of this, and what is the leadership that we're giving, apart from sitting in parliament for past 20 ideas and doing sweet bugger all. Um, and the UIM is known to call it as it is. You know, today I was complimented, I don't know if it's a compliment, but by one of the leading parties by saying, well, at least there is a leader here. And that is, uh, that is, uh, that is Councillor De Beer. We are listened to because we talk straight and we don't hide and we don't let anybody get away with rubbish. And I think that's lacquer, you know, that's refreshing in a governmental system. So I think that's also why people vote for us. But as far as nonsense, the yeah, in in partij mag sê ek moer, uh, ek mag sê moer, ek het vandag weer moer gesê. En, um, you know, I talk the language of the people. I don't want voters to vote for the UIM because we are politically correct. I want to be politically incorrect because for the past 20 bloody eight years, it seems that every party has been incorrect. So it's time for a refresher. It's time for someone that is in a leadership position that sits in government, that sits in the seat of leadership, that can reach around and say, you must end up gemoor word, want jy lieg. Jy lieg nie, nie, oeh, jy vertel die lie nie, jy lieg man, jy lieg, and oh, I think you should be investigated for corruption, nie, yeah. you should be uh, uh, investigated because you're a thief, jy is a dief, jy is a dief in die nacht, en jy steel, oeh, Jack, I, I wish you were there, I wish you are there, to see the eyes of these people going, my God, this guy is a radical leader, I'm not a radical leader, ek praat in die waarheid, so if you want, if you say we're radical, if you say that we are absolutely outspoken, we are politically incorrect, how can I speak about another opposition leader that ek mag en ek kan? Want as jy nonsense aanvang, is ek daar namens ons UIM mandaat. Om vir jou hartelijk te sê jou moer man. <laughs> so Jacques, entry, that's my entry introduction. Goeienavond, good evening. Goed om julle te sien. Goed om jou te sien. So good to see you as well. So laat wei. Gooi, gooi. Yeah, I just, uh, I quickly just spoke to Steve. Uh, he quickly joined me before you came on. And I just, uh, basically what I said was, um, uh, I did a, a lot of reading this week. And I listened to some um, uh, podcasts on Facebook. And I listened to some legal experts and senior advocates. So uh, all had their opinion on what happened with this court case. And the general consensus out there, if, if I'm, you know, if you listen to all these legal experts, is that Afri Forum stuffed up their own case. Because what they are saying is, is they are saying that the judge is a, apparently is a judge that is not influenced by um, politics. He's got a reputation for being that kind of a judge. He tried the court case according to the facts and the evidence that was presented to him. And obviously he had to try that court case um, according to the law. So every party was given an opportunity to present their case and to present their experts and the and the evidence. And according to what the legal experts are saying, and they all concurred, they all agreed with the fact that that song is 100% qualifies as hate speech. But they are saying that the court case was lost. It's not that the EFF won the court case. They are saying Afri Forum lost the court case because they presented a very, very weak case. And the judge had to rule on what he was presented with. And unfortunate. Unfortunately, that ruling was not in favor of any citizen in this country, and that ruling now stands. They are also saying that it's very unlikely that the Afri Forum is going to be given an opportunity to appeal because they don't have any grounds for an appeal um, because um, that's what they are saying. And they are also saying now that uh, what are the implications going to be going forward if something like this happens again because they can now always refer back to this ruling and say, but I mean, according to that judgment in that specific court case, it was ruled not to be hate speech. So how does anything from now on going forward qualify as hate speech? So that's just what I wanted to say in a nutshell. So the floor is now yours. Jacques, die wet sê, ek moet, ek moet baie versichtig wees as daar een indringer is op my grond. As jy op my grond kom, ek gaf jou bliksem, Jy moet nou mooi vir my hoor. Jy moet nou mooi vir my hoor. 
as jy jou gat in een hek deerdruk en jy kom in my huis in, dan moet jy nou mooi vir my hoor, ek gaan jou met een baseballbed blikgem, totdat jy nie meer kan loop nie, en dan gaat ek jou uithelp en uitgooi, en as jy een wapen het, en jy richt die wapen op my, gaat ek jou so sif skiet, dat as die politie vir my vrou, kom het jy die man negen keer geskiet, dan gaan ek sê, ek het uit patroon uitgehaard, loop ek is baie jammer. Let me take that as context. What you say in legalese, what you say in a court of law, en die so-called experts met toegas en bandite en boeke en my learned colleague, has no, hier is een wettige aspect, locus standi. Latin. You're a qualified lawman, Jack. Locus standi means, wat is jou current, soos jy hier staan, wat is jou wettelike recht? Locus standi, is ek recht? Then you get another legalese that says modus operandi. What is your modus operandi? Now, take those two sentences. If you locus standi in my house, then my modus operandi is ek gaan vir jou doner. Now, sorry, I'm a leader in this country. I am elected. So you don't expect probably leadership to say the following. Be mindful of what happens when someone enters your house and you've got to then ask the person to leave. If he doesn't leave, you've got to ask the person to leave again. And if he doesn't leave, call the police and wait for an hour. And in the interim between leaving and that, you get killed. That is not the letter of the law I respect. But I respect the written law. I understand. We mustn't read too much in this judgment because we factually know de facto Jacques, we know that that is hate speech dis haatspraak jy kan om nou minus of jy kan om nou tegelijk nee, but I'm telling you now it is hate speech how funny is it Jacques how funny and when I say funny I'm talking about how weird is it that Five minutes after the judgment is given in court that killed the boer and killed the farmer does not constitute hate speech. They go and they go sing. There's no really jelly tot roy gesagis. They go and sing, kill the boer, kill the farmer on the court stairs outside. Someone takes a YouTube takes a YouTube. Now, obviously, everything I'm saying here right now is going to go onto TikTok, hopefully. I know it's going to be edited by Marilee Zay. So, ons moet hierdie uitspeer, dat ons baie duidelik is met die mense. Five minutes after the court case, the EFF, oh, say it again? The EFF, oh, Kotsen, Abnosia. The EFF sings, kill the boer, kill the farmer. A person types it on YouTube and puts it on YouTube. You know what happens? Yeah? Do you know what happens? They removed it. YouTube, YouTube removed removes it. it because of hate speech. So maybe most of our court cases should be sent to YouTube first so that we can get a guiding light of what is going to be the fact. It's rubbish. I understand people are now trying to define, dissect, the capability of Tarzan, the long man, but now the Akhistan at Namens Afri Furman, and how the sly and snaky Julius Malema used that platform against us. Because if you ask me who won the PR battle that day, it was definitely not Tarzan. It was Julius Cello Malema. I don't think that that's not a debate. We let this man tell us how much he hates us. He even goes this far on court record to say that one day when the time comes, 
he might be the person that will start civil war in this country. He might. He says so on record. Yes, of record. And he gets away with it. So I am not worried, Jacques, about the implication of kill the boer, kill the farmer, hate sprak, because we know it's absolutely crap. It's hate speech. Just hate sprak. 100%. 100%. Because the, the, what they don't understand, amongst them are idiots. Amongst those red jelly tot, I'm saying amongst, I'm not saying majority, because then we start our oh, crap again. Want jene, ek het ook maar paar van ons manne ontmoet wat idiotisch is. Maar Jacques, it takes one of those guys to physically decide that kill the boer, kill the farmer is not a song, but an instruction. Now, that turns the table. Because we can all sit around the table and go, in cool, in rooiberei. In cool, in rooiberei, in cool, in rooiberei, in cool, in rooiberei, maak hulle allemaal moer toe. In cool, in rooiberei, in cool, in rooiberei, in cool, in rooiberei, slaan op die kop en hy is moer toe. Daar sy, die wil ik hier, baie keer om. Nou kom ek wat een paar van ons boeremanne, die fanatische manne, en ek sit hulle buiten Brackenvel, en hierdie klein narre kom opgehaard loop, nee, en ons allemaal begin sing, in koel, in rooiberei. Trust me, that's going to change. So what are we doing? We are going to start tit for tit now. In koel, in rooiberei, kill the boer, kill the farmer. What does that help us as a nation? Where does it put us as a united country? Well, it doesn't. And if you ask me, why am I saddened, disappointed? It's put us back, Jock. It's taken us back. We must stop this now. What's next? What's next? The removal of the stem. The declaration that the old flag is uh, is not allowed to be shown public that it's a crime. That ons boere liekies, tella rai, dat alle liekies verband moet word. What is the, the extreme of the next? Remember Jacques, and then I'll pause. We took him to court. Yeah, we, civil society, because no normal human being accepts hate speech. No, no one. I don't have to be a member of Afri Forum. I don't have to be a member of Solidarity. I don't have to be a member of Sightlanders. I don't have to, I don't have to be a member to physically with a clear mind sit back and go, that's wrong. That song is wrong. That's forget. So where do we stop? Well, this court case was the prime opportunity to stop it. We failed. We failed on the judge bench. We failed on Afri Forum, and we definitely failed to inhibit and to squash that man from using that song. That, failure, 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 failure. That's what I'm thinking. Sorry. If they sang Kill the Boer, Kill the Farmer, and there wasn't one farmer murdered, I would then say, okay. But that's not the facts of this country. Farmers are being not slaughtered. The They're not being murdered. I want to make this clear. Farmers in this country are not murdered. They slaughtered. They are inhumanely tortured and killed. And I'm sorry. That is because peop people sing that song. And people listen to it. And they heed the call. And they murder people. So I don't need a court judge to come and tell me what is hate and what is not hate. It me and you experience it. The farmers experience it. The Afrikaners experience it. So that's my opinion on that point. And sorry, if Afri Forum does not appeal this and put extra effort in fixing this, 
we are left with a court precedent that will ruin any other attempt on both sides, be it black or white, to stop racism and to stop the future hate amongst our children in the future. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, we're all hoping that the judge, I mean, sees this matter as a, a matter of national importance and that he grants leave to appeal. So we are hoping that uh, he is a man of that type of character and that he will see that uh, despite his ruling, this remains a very serious matter and that he will grant leave of appeal to off reform. So we are all very hopeful that that will be the case. And if they don't take it to the next court, take this case to the constitutional court. Yes. You cannot start 100 meters and give up at 50. No. Afri Forum has enough support financially and legally to take this thing to the final nth degree. And if they don't, then they are sad in. Then they are absolutely going to lose my respect and I think the nation's respect. But they let the fight to pick and act and I fight on a stand. But they can't no stop me. They cannot stop at the Supreme Court. They will have to go to the Court of Appeal. And if they don't get a hearing of appeal, uh, they've got to go to the Constitutional Court and they've got to get a ruling at the highest court. And in my opinion, if they don't get the judgment at the Constitutional Court, they've got to go to the International Court. But here they can't stop me. Now, if, you, if we as the UIM, if we ever had money, and we don't, because all the other organizations, the DA gets 15 million rand. The DA, we don't even get 50 rand. The DA got in the past three months, 15 million. Where are they? Jacques, have you heard anything from them? Nothing. Have you seen Stearnays and Stonies and Stony? Have you seen this guy go mad? Have you seen this man nope. appear on social media, in the media, in public places and say, we are not going to let this go. If Afri Forum failed, we as the official opposition that are being given millions will now stand up and fight this draconian man and his absurd jelly tot followers. Have you heard him say that? Nope, I haven't. Sha, 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 sha. That's what the DA has done. So the UIM is physically and visibly upset. It's our people, white, black, colored, Indian. And we are all being hated this much. Maar waar is die oppositie, Jacques? Waar de donor is die ambtelijke oppositie in die land met hulle 15 en 20 en 30 miljoen rand? They know where. They ask Afri Forum to take on this case. But if it's election time, man dan sille voor. Well, I am utterly, utterly disappointed in this opposition, whoever they are, because this is a slap in our face. And let me quickly tell you, the DA won't come up against them because the DA has already declared it might go into coalition with them. That's not rubbish, by the way. That's a fact. Those discussions have happened. And now we've got the EFF two weeks ago through its president, its idiotic leader, who says he will join the ANC in coalition. Now, can you imagine the DA, EFF and ANC all fighting around the table to be kings? Yeah, uh, what did you expect? And that's why we've got hate speech. They get away with it. Kijk hoe gaan hulle aan in die parlement, man. Look how they exactly. continue and they go on in parliament. Every single parliamentary session, the red idiots get up and get thrown out. Do you know why it's happening like that every time, Jacques? Jy moer hulle nie genoeg nie. You don't neek them. You don't have 
cases in Parliament where you discipline them. You don't have, in my opinion, law and order in Parliament. Now, me as a citizen, I've got to watch that. But more than that, I've got overseas people looking at that and going, this is barbaric. That is lost. That is crunk. That is not good. And in Italian, they probably say, Mamma mia. This is the face of our leadership in our country. That is our leadership op hierdie oomlik in ons land. And no wonder, hate speech cannot be recognized because we've got so used to it, Jacques. It's terrible. Anyway, that's our opinion on uh, the absolute circus of a court case that uh, should have rectified a lot of history. Shall we address another white elephant? Snarks and Nogala say a big elephant, thick elephant, white elephant in the room. Uh, the astonishing, astonishing uh, 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 mention of the President of the Republic of South Africa this week saying that he has full confidence in the Minister of Police. <laughs> what the hell Jacques is this man is he is he in the country well he's not you know he's, he's in, in Switzerland and he's in Angola but what the hell a month after the crime stats indicate that 71 people die a day in this country 106 women are raped a day in this country. That's three people per hour dead and murdered. That there are more than 350,000 case dockets outstanding because of DNA. That one in every three vehicles of the SA police in this country is broken. And that we are at a 71% deficit in police stations just in Cape Town on capacity. You are saying with full confidence that you support as the leader of this country, your Minister of Police. What say you do with Jockey? No, that's, that, that sounds to me like a president that doesn't give a toss about the people that he governs. He doesn't care about the citizens of this country at all. No love. You know, Ian Cameron did a video yesterday, you know, we had Ian here, where he absolutely annihilated Becky Taylor with stats. And my, 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 my question is, again, sorry Jacques, again, where's the opposition? And I'm not just talking now about the DA. I'm talking about the DA, the UDM, I'm talking about every other opposition party. I can't even mention the Freedom Front Plus. Where are they, Jacques? Because no matter what they do, it seems that not whatever they are doing is effective or, or is working. You've got to admit to that. There's nothing. There's absolutely no change. And it's time for change, Chuck. And we as this country, we as South Africans, who are the voters, who have the key, we better make that right cross on the right ballot in 2024. That's not far away from us now. We've got the power, ladies and gentlemen. But I think, and I'm not punting the UIM, obviously we are the UIM. But if you vote the same, for the same leadership in National Assembly, you are going to get the same. And this country cannot go into another five years with the same leaders and the same donkeys that absolutely bleed the same circle 
every single year. It's time for the refreshing discussion of straight talk, hard talk, truth talk. Say it to say as, now I've told you before, I'm going to parliament. I'm going to run. We are going to run for the presidency and for national government in 2024. I don't care. And I'm telling you, if we get one or two or five people or 10 or 20, God, God, God bless, you'll see a change. You will see an absolute change just in attitude in that parliament with having UIM membership there. Why? Straight talk, hard talk, Satyala nonsense, Fatih. Next, what uh, You said you wanted to talk about the Afrikaans, the the, the layers for the folk. That's one of the things that you mentioned that you wanted to talk about. You you know, uh, uh, Jacques, we we are a unique a unique nation. Our nation is comprised of many many people many different cultures, many different people from so many diverse uh, backgrounds. But one thing that amazes me is that the Afrikaner and lately called the Afrikaanser, we have to Afrikaners and Afrika, but we Afrikaans, that we can't understand. Je weet dat ons niet kan samenstaan van, van Jack, ik en jij is van die Afrikaners. Ons is Afrikaans. Maak dit jou niet hard zeer wees nie. Je weet iemand vraag vir my, waar staan ik met skalk van de merwe? Waar staan ik nou met die nieuwe man wat baie uh, op sociale media is, sy naam is Louis Liebenberg. Honderde mense vraag my. Ik denk jij krijgt ook die, die WhatsApps om te vragen waar staan ons met die mensen, waar staan ons met zo so en waar staan ons met zo, so, uh, waar staan Neil met die mensen. En dan beantwoord ik ik staan bij de UIM. Als je tien corruptie is, als je tien misdaad is, als je pro die constitutie is. Als jij pro kapitaal is om zeker te maken dat kapitaal terugkomt naar die rechtdenkende manieren waar het moet wees, en jij staan werkelijk in Christus en in geloof, dan kan ik en jij om een tafel zitten en praat. Maar als enige een van die vijf beginsels wat, wat ons op die tafel gezet het als UIM, als jij niet dit wil volgen, nie, kan ik met je praten. Een teendeel, ons gaan nie met jou praat nie. Want dit is wat voor ons staan. We stand for the fight against corruption, the fight against crime, the defense of the constitution, returning and defending the capital of this government, and in Christ. And any other respected religion on earth. But without Christ and without fighting those four things, we are not interested in even debating with you. We will never, ever sit around the table in partnership. The word is partnership with the EFF, the ANC, or any of the other cohorts, SACP or Kusatu. We won't do that, Jacques. We are not interested. Yes. In certain governments, we have to have coalitions. We don't have a choice. Doesn't mean that we are in partnership with you. It means that we are there to make certain decisions. That's politics as I see it. But the UIM is not for sale, Jacques. Now, when you look at the people debating on social media, the question of leadership, you know, it's not just about standing for president. You've got to have governmental training, Jacques. Now, you know more than anybody else, 
how we are crunching it at local government as UIM in three councils. This two, three years in local government as a councillor, as a member of portfolio committees, as a member of government, it's our training. Because just because you are a born leader and you are a great businessman, trust me, it, um, it doesn't help you in politics. <laughs> politics and government and how government is run, Jacques, it is an absolute eye-opener even to a man that has traveled the world and that also has been in business for more than 20, 30 years. It's hard. It's difficult. But I, I, I prefer to go through this training school now and face the elections in 2024 prepared. And in the past five months coming back from cancer, surviving cancer, facing death in its face, and coming back from that with a renewed absolute belief in faith and in the people of this country and still willing to fight for the justice of these people has given us a renewed energy, uh, energy Jacques. And that's what I'm looking forward to. But my wish for the Afrikaners, my wish for the people of South Africa that are Afrikaans, the mense wat gebore en getoe is uit die boerevolk, is kyk baie, baie definitief meer achter die man, achter elke man. Kyk een bykie dieper. Moe nie net geloo nie. Hierdie is een baie, baie harde industrie. Politics, as you know, a jock is not for sissies. I don't care how much of a leader you are. South African politics in the physical chamber. Hij is hard. You've got to be wise. You've got to be politically educated. You've got to be correct. Because that is the training school of being a successful political party. So I hope that the, the, the current people that are all on social media, that are professing that they are the leaders of the Afrikaner folk, once you've now decided that that person is your leader, and you let the clear the decision to take daarby a national vergadering that here is the fulcrum for the leader of the African people, send us a WhatsApp uh, or an email, and I would like to—I'll be the first one that would like to meet that person because I believe that the Afrikaners of this country are a cornerstone. They are an absolute massive stable rock and they are a pillar of this country's society that if that pillar breaks, if that pillar cracks, if that pillar finds itself unstable, that I believe that this country will fail. That is this belangrijk that as an Afrikaner folk ons absolute goeie en absolute standvandige leiderskap het. In die leiderskap wat ons op hierdie oomlik het nee, is absoluut, absoluut gemors. Ek sê maar, dit bestaan nie, want ons kan nie om een vier by mekaar uitkom nie. En as een lid van die Afrikaner volk, uh, ek, ek bid daarvoor, Jacques, my gebede gaan op, dat ons eendag eenheid, rechtvaardigheid en liefde vir mekaar sal hee. Definitely, I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I saw a video clip of a rugby game that took place sometime this week or last weekend where the parents climbed into each other and beat the crap out of each other in a rugby game. And to the kid, they say, Oi, you know, you're me, you're nasty, you're folk for me, you're the mensa for me. But because of where rugby felt tackle, because of the donor, it is, yeah. But anyway, that's a. Uh, Let's, I, I'm praying for yeah. the same thing that you are praying for. Yeah. I think rugby on all the places of in South Africa is a tear pain. It's a bit of an So I can, uh, so yeah, then I can understand the frustration. I just want to ask you, um, are there any leaders currently, of any political parties at the moment, 
in which you have recognized those five principles of ours that you just mentioned. And are zero. there any leaders of other zero? Zero. So I don't even have to go further. So there's no, no. no one. Jacques, let me put it to you this way. I, I'm, 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 I'm not a person that is unrealistic. You know, I'm a realist. I've always been a realist. I've been a realist when I was in uniform. I was a realist in, in the security industry. I was a realist in government. I was a realist in business. I was a realist in government. I was a realist in world organizations. I'm, I'm a realist. I was a realist facing this illness that I've just gone in. I'm a realist. I would not have joined or I would not have started a political party two years ago that was first a movement and then a party if I could find a home. And make no mistake, I, without a doubt, when leaving the African National Congress, because its failure to maintain its succession, it failed to be the ANC that needs to unite, I went and looked for a home. And Jacques, I couldn't find a home. I couldn't find a leader that totally understands business, capital, governance, defense, security, leadership, global politics, and debate and diplomacy. Do you, know the like that? The people, Do you know of any leader currently that has experience in any of those eight? No, I don't. Combined. Do you know of any leader that understands defense, security, intelligence, global business, global diplomacy, politics, history, corporate governance and leadership in this country. Do you know one other than, that's done all of that? Other than you? No, I don't. Because I was in the military. I served in intelligence. I ran a global business. I was recognized as an African leader. I worked as a corporate diplomat. I worked as an international African liaison and diplomat. And I understand politics. All of them. And then people will tell you, but Neil, your color is wrong. When the hell did a law come out in this country that a white man, that is an African, and that is a South African, cannot be president? Where's that law? Where is that law that says that if I believe that I qualify to lead this country, all nations in this country, that I cannot do that? That I cannot stand for it? Well, we've got to change our attitude because being white does not mean that you're automatically concurring with racism. That's rubbish. And have we now become a country where if you are white, you must be ashamed. If you are white, you need to fear. If you are white, you need to be subservient. If you are white, you cannot reach for the highest goal in this country. That's utter rubbish. And so goes for our colored Indian and black participants and our fellow South Africans. It doesn't matter the color of your skin, but the heart and soul you have as a patriot for your country. And this country has lost the ANC's patriotism. It doesn't believe in it, it doesn't concur, and it doesn't trust this government anymore. But who's the next leader? Because if you put it out there, Helen Ziller, Jonathan Stienhuisen, Cyril Ramaphosa, uh, Patrice Mutsepe, Didi Mabuza, Dudu Zuma, uh, Sham Saloa, uh, they just fired the guy from COPE. Messiah Lakota is president. So I saw Murtu. Bantu Olamisa, Julius Malema. Are you listening to the names that I'm calling out there? This is our leadership. 
Guyton McKenzie, who says that he will switch off oxygen of foreigners if he has to make a decision. A man who is now being investigated by the public protector. Herman Mashaba, failed premier, ex-businessman, couldn't make it in the DA. These are the people that we are putting on the menu. Forget about me. I'm never going to go away. I'm going to stay in Christ and I'm going to move the people every day when they, when, they, when they stab us in the back and when they do us in. So forget about Neil De Beer. Neil De Beer is there. Like, why? Hello? Because he saw. So don't, don't put me on that list. Who are you going to vote for? Jacques, this is the reality. Peter Grunewald can't do it, Mark Niemann. Peter Grunewald's nephews and his family where the whole Freedom Front Plus run. This is a family based on work. The DA has committed itself that it is capped at 25 to 20%. Fact. It will never go more than 20 to 25 to 30% in this country. It can't, it can't get that vote. So the DA is out. The UDM is out. EFF won't go more than 12%. The ANC is absolutely still there and they're running the pride lands of Lord of the Rings or whatever. What's that movie called? <laughs> the Lord of the Rings. No, man. The Lion King. The Lion King. The hyenas, they're running around, they're eating the carcasses and the lions have run away. But there's a lion. Simba. I'm that lion. I don't fear, Jacques. That's the point, by the way. I'm, I'm not scared. Actually, Bangi, I don't fear the truth. You know, after I've gone through what I've gone through, I don't fear anything anymore except my Lord and Savior, okay? So actually, bang for him. You can do with me what you want, but the UIM will not stop calling a spade a spade and not an agricultural implement. Because it's a spade. Klar. Jacques, that's what we started. That's where we're going to stop. We are going to continue fighting for the truth on behalf of our people. And I'll tell you something. One man can make a difference. One voice. One voice can make a difference. And it just takes us to, to stand together, man. The UIM has shown unbelievable growth, shock. Even in the past four months that I've been uh, uh, incapacitated, what you know, what major miracle in membership have we not had? I mean, you're the SG. You're at the front line. We have grown, and we have grown genetically, uh, generically, and genetically. Also, be um, We've not paid anybody to join us. These people have decided that we are the right people, and I am absolutely in love with our supporters who stand for the right of the South African. A conspiracy South Africans, and you know. We mustn't forget our people that are overseas, Chuck. Sino Neto Persoon is so Davi. And for my great friend, Davi from Piran in, in Abu Dhabi. I just saw a message. Hello, Davi. All my love. How many people are overseas, Jack, that want to come back home? Lots. That Thousands. are sitting in Abu Dhabi, that are sitting in Qatar, that are sitting in Dubai, that are sitting in London, that are sitting in Australia, that are sitting in New Zealand, that are sitting in Europe, that are sitting in, in Russia, that are sitting in Serbia, and they want to come home. They, they, they are still South African. They are our people. Just because they're overseas and they took a decision to better their education, to better their salaries, to better their safety, to better their family, does not make them less South African than we are. How many of us sit with folks, parents, brothers, family, and sisters overseas, and we miss them? Well, I can tell you the people that are overseas miss us. They miss their parents. They miss their families. But they have no choice to continue. We have the de facto, I said de facto, 
responsibility to fight for our country, but they need to support us in their absence as well. We mustn't forget. And here's the difference, Jacques. In 2024, the people overseas can vote. In the local government elections, they were not allowed to vote. But in the 2024 elections, every South African overseas, it's your obligation to go to your embassy and go vote for the UIM. You must go vote. And if you don't vote for us, vote. But for God's sake, vote for change. Because in 2024, we are not going to vote at all to change a country. We are going to vote to save a country. That's a fact. That's, that's, that's a fact, Jock. So, yeah, a lot of words tonight. You've had a lot of me. A lot of opinions that we've discussed and debated. But I think uh, it's good that I got it off my chest. My humble apology for the last time. I fell just very ill at that stage. But I think we've made up for it. Uh, we've more than made up for it. You have. So thank you. Thank you very much. Great. I time. think this, is a, this was, a, this was a, a conversation that has been building up for a couple of weeks now. So um, I'm just glad you're back. And I'm glad that you're back speaking the truth as you always do. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. No, thank really you. God agree. bless. God bless. And thank you to everybody out there. Stay strong. My weekly Wednesdays are coming back where we will in the morning again address the citizens and the people of the uh, week that was in South Africa. And uh, Jacques, thank you for the sterling work. You and Cindy and Stephen and Marli Zay and Marlies and Melissa. Uh, uh, there are so many, uh, uh, Denise, there are so many people, Cherise, I always miss out names, but I'm, I'm, I'm there. I absolutely adore everything that everybody does every single day. And God bless South Africa. God bless the Republic. God bless the people of this beautiful country and every South African citizen across the world. May God bless you. May, may the abundance of love come over you. May, may God's protection his hand of extension of love go over our nation because we're looking forward to being a good nation, a whole nation again. And yes, ek whip ons donnery ouwens hierdie saterdag vir een slag, man. Ons het het nodig. Ons het, ja. Thanks a lot, Neil. Really appreciate it. Take care. Thank you. Cheers, Jacques. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Guys, there you have it. Um, hoe, hoe kan ek nou het nou mooi vir julle nou express? Uh, altyd strijd is een arrow. Uh, raw, uncut, no holds barred. Uh, he says it the way it is. En daar het julle nou gehoor vanavond uit die paardse back uit. Um, I hope this, uh, uh, there's a lot of things that you guys can... Uh, uh, take home with you or that you guys can there's a lot to think about let me rather put it that way and there's a i'm asking you guys to please share this live please share this video we'll be making some tiktoks with some extracts from this conversation please if you guys receive those tiktoks or those uh, um video clips please spread them far and wide we want people to 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 we really want people to know about us or find out about the uim and we want to give people the opportunity to hear, to, to listen to what we have to say. So uh, I see it's already half past, already almost half past nine. So this uh, live is uh, carried on for quite some time. Um, I don't think we'll be taking any uh, requests uh, for the rest of the evening. I want to thank you guys for joining me tonight. Uh, next week, Wednesday, we are going to be talking about Cape Town. Uh, we've got a, a team in, in the Western Cape that we have established, a team of UIM ambassadors or representatives that are doing great work in Cape Town. We call it um, Team Cape Town uh, that falls under the Western Cape region. We are trying to set these teams up in as many areas in South Africa as possible. I would like you or I would like to introduce you guys to our Cape Town team next week. And we want to speak a bit more about 
uh, Cape Town and issues related to Cape Town and uh, areas in Cape Town as well. So, um, like I said, I want to introduce you guys to other members of the UIM as well. We are a lot of people that are working every single day and that are volunteering to grow this party and to, 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 to build this party. And I would really like to introduce you guys to Team Cape Town next week. Um, and then we'll, yeah, then we'll discuss some of the issues. There's a lot. Uh, I had a meeting with, with that, with Team Cape Town last night. And there was a lot of things that they, uh, that, you know, that were brought up in the discussion. And we want to share that with you guys. And then hopefully, as the UIM grows, we will be having more similar talks to the one that we're going to have next week, Wednesday. And hopefully we can start setting up these teams uh, in all regions and provinces of South Africa, because we need representation in all the in all the areas of South Africa, because this is a national party, and then we're going, trying to grow it nationally. So, thanks a lot, guys. I see. Uh, let me just see quickly. I see there's a. I might just take two requests quickly. Please keep it short, guys. It's already late, but um, I'll, I'll let me just uh, get some comments from from one or two of you. We still have a little time left. I'm just, uh, yeah, let's just hope, let's just hope all goes well. I'm having trouble signing in certain people. I don't know why. I, the fault's definitely not on my side because obviously I had no problem signing in Steve and Neil tonight. So I think you guys must just please for your, when you, when you join the live again next week, just make sure that you update your Facebook app. Because that, uh, that was a problem in the past. So just make sure that you've got the latest version of the app installed on your phone. Because that might be the reason that you guys are struggling to, to sign in. Yeah, sorry. Unfortunately, that was a failed attempt. I'm just going to try one more time. And if that doesn't work, then I'm going to have to... Say good night to everybody. Sorry, guys. There's two people who sent through requests. Um, unfortunately, I can't, can't sign you in for some other reason. Uh, let's try again next week. Please make sure to update your Facebook app because uh, that might be the problem. Make sure it's, uh, that you're, you've got the latest version installed next week, Wednesday. And please join me next week, Wednesday as well. I would really love to introduce you to um, Team Western Cape or Team Cape Town. Um, and then... Uh, you guys must please take care. Uh, please help us grow the party. Please spread the message. Spread our videos that we that we post on Facebook. Post it on your private Facebook pages as well. Um, we are really relying on all of you to help us grow this party and to, to build the UIM. So thanks a lot for your support, guys. Thanks for joining tonight. Have a great evening. Have a great week. And I'll see you guys next week, Wednesday. Take care, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.